Hey y'all, my name is Arika. Just imagine a situation where you're near a bonfire and the farther away you get from it, the temperature increases like crazy. Mm. Sounds absolutely bizarre, right? But it actually happens on our star, the sun. And scientists like to refer to this as the coronal heating problem. Sounds something serious. Meet the corona, the outer atmosphere of the sun. And you can actually see it during a solar eclipse when the moon overshadows the sun. And its temperature is over a million Kelvin. Whereas the surface of the sun, also known as photosphere, where the photons of light are actually emitted, is only about 5700 Kelvin. Wait, the surface is colder than the atmosphere? How is the sun itself less hot than its atmosphere, which spans about 8 million kilometers? So, what's the physics behind this physics? Well, there are two possibilities. The first one is that it happens because of a phenomenon called as nanoflares. So basically, like Earth, sun also has magnetic field lines, but weird looking ones. And they all demonstrate twisting and snapping just like an elastic band. This property of them sometimes tend to cause reconnection of magnetic fields, in which it snaps, reconnects, and rearranges itself. Nah, kind of intriguing, but it converts the excessive magnetic energy into plasma motion and heat. This process was initially found by Eunice sounding rocket which observed the sun in EUV spectrum and discovered that this phenomenon was happening all over the sun and on a very small scale. I guess that's why it's called nanoflares. But many of these happening simultaneously is what contributes to the huge amount of heat to the corona. And the second reason is alpha waves. One amazing way to visualize these are strings of musical instruments. As I pluck the string, it sends waves in the air molecules. Similarly, these stretchy magnetic fields stretch and their restoring force is sent as a wave in the sun plasma. But these waves carry energy from the convective layer of sun and climb along the magnetic fields and dissipate their energy into the corona as heat. While both the possibilities seem plausible and in fact, it feels like the reason of coronal heating problem is the combination of the two effects, there's still need of study to clear this messy problem up. I hope you like this video and if you're really into hardcore solar physics, I've linked some YouTube videos down in the description, which I have watched while making a sense out of this video. And if there are some other topics you would like to see on this channel, please do. I'm all ears. For now, this is it. And I'll see you next time.